Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. I got one. Oh, they're above, they're above. Go on the point, one shot. Oh, he dropped I got, I killed. No I killed two. Way. I got it, I stole it. I think I stuck one. I got two. Last guy behind the wall, behind the wall. Hunt him down, hunt him down. I got that. Nice. Uh, uh, one more. This is just such a fresh outlook on a good, fun arena shooter. It kind of builds on what Splitgate 1 was. It's got your portals, DMRs that are single shot. I would say action packed, fast paced, like the movement and adding that slide mechanic sort of makes a world of difference when it comes to being able to run and gun. It's no longer just portaling and gunplay, it's like factions comboing with utility, the abilities. Really, the factions are the biggest thing uh, just because of their passives and ability that you use. Going for a capture. So Aeros is just high APM, fast movement, you gotta run around, you're porting behind people, shooting them, killing them, go back to your portal, reset, pop a stim. This role is mainly like the entry fragging role, and I would say that's more geared towards the mechanically skilled players. Using that rush ability also increases the pacing. I was able to just zip in and also do those portal, 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 portal. You reload faster, combine that with the sprinter, and you're just assassinating people really quickly. And it's just really nice because the movement with everything feels very satisfying. It's like, I'm a fragger, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going for kills, I'm moving around the map, and I'm taking out the entire team. I got heals. I got walls. Timmy's on point right now. Timmy's on point. The Faction Meridian is way more appealing, in my opinion, to support players because there are abilities that can help you survive and help your teammates survive, that you can kind of support them and keep them up, but also get kills at the same time. Like, I would use my hyper sight to see when people are flanking, and it kind of just detects people behind walls. You can see their HP, where they're at. Just the info by itself is good for your team. But also it does give you the ability to frag out yourself, which is nice. I think that the Time Dome is actually one of the best gadgets in the entire game. It's really useful anytime, really, you're in a gunfight with anybody. You could use it for yourself selfishly by just throwing it on the ground and standing in it and being able to shoot faster, you reload faster, you move faster. There's pretty much no downsides. And if the enemy ends up stepping into it, they have the reverse effects of that, which is obviously huge. Watch out. Opponent is attempting to capture. Dude, the grenades are so good. I just threw two a point, got two with the nades. Obviously, portals are big, but Sabrask, I feel like, is the faction that you can get away with uh, the most not using the portals. Not as many movement perks compared to the other two factions, but with all the abilities and the guns, you have a lot of versatility. You have the smart wall, which is basically a pop-up shield that blocks enemy bullets from your enemy depending on where you place it, but you can shoot through it. If you place it down and you're getting shot in the back, you can then go to the opposite side of the smart wall. Then pairing the wall with the sticky grenades, I can walk into any room in any building and wall off one area and then grenade a certain doorway and then hold down the zone. So if you can get to a power position on the map, the smart wall was like a necessity. I don't have the utility to stay on point, so I think you I have a healing grenade. I can just put it inside with yeah. I think I think you put the shield down, put the heal grenade, and then you guys should play it off of each other, and I can just play the side angle. For me, after playing Split A2, I'm looking forward to just the actual release of the game. There's going to be more game modes, more guns, more power weapons, more maps. I mean, the big thing is, it's like, a, it's a real sequel. It still holds the core fundamental values of Splitgate, so it's still Splitgate. It's not going too far away from the original game, but it still has that fast-paced arena shooter feel that brings a lot of people back. And in this, you can spawn in, hit some shots, play with your friends. I'm excited for people to see it. I think they're going to like it a lot. Nice! Big steal, big steal.